Hello everyone and welcome to class of tracking areas optimization. Tracking area represent the LT which is equivalent to routing area where the current UE registration is valid. So as we know that LT does not have circuit switch domain so does not require any location areas. So whenever a user registered itself to the network the UE is responsible for registering itself within a specific tracking area. The core network stored information about the tracking area where the registration is performed. Network is organized into group of cells. The group of cells are tracking area. So tracking area is used for EPS mobility management. When paging idle user equipment has to notify them about the incoming data connection. System information block broadcast tracking area to which a cell belongs and it is broadcasted every 80 milliseconds. A single tracking area can span multiple MMEs or it can be within a single MME area. You can have a tracking area identifier. Tracking area identifier has mobile country code, mobile network code and tracking area code. A tracking area identifier, it can 1 to 16 tracking areas. So what are the cases of the tracking area update? Like whenever a user equipment entered into a new tracking area that is not in the list of tracking area identifiers that the UE register, tracking area update is required. Whenever the periodic tracking area update timer has expired, the UE was in the uterine connected state when it reselects to LT. TIN number it indicates PTMZ when the UE reselects to LT. RRC connection is released. UE core network capability or UE specific DRX parameters has been changed. So these are all the causes of tracking area update. So tracking area design. The key of the tracking area design it should consider these factors. Now what are the factors like what are the number of enode bees in a tracking area, low UE power consumption, low paging delay and low network delay. These are all the keys for tracking area design and whenever we require to design an area we have to consider these factors. Tracking area optimization. The main target of this optimization like we have to minimize paging and updates. Tracking area represent LT like optimization. Tracking areas normally are planned relatively large like 100 enodes rather than relatively small. So it is very much required or necessary to achieve the balance between number of tracking area updates and paging load. Paging load increases with the bigger side of the size of tracking area and tracking area size may be reduced subsequently if the experienced paging load becomes very high. So there are two methods of initial tracking area planning. Like what are the methods? So very first is small tracking area that will result more frequent tracking area updates. Lower paging load, even reduce paging success rate since UE cannot respond to the paging during tracking area update procedure and it has UE high UE battery consumption. The second method is bigger tracking area that will result less frequent tracking area updates, higher paging load but it causes paging being blocked and which leads to traffic lost. So tracking area update procedure. Now whenever a user equipment initiates a tracking area update procedure, it sends tracking area update request message with its current GUTI or IMTSI, old tracking area identifier or EPS bearer status information to the eNode B and the eNode B forward the message to the MME. If the old MME cannot be selected, then a new MME must be chosen by the eNode B. The new MME must first of all get MZ of the subscriber and it has to authenticate. Therefore, the new MME contacts the old by the GTPC contact request message. In the context response message, it contains MZ authentication vectors, but also information about active bearers of this user. After successful authentication, the new MME analyzes if serving gateway change is needed or not. The new MME informs the old that it is ready to take control over the user equipment. That means context acknowledgement message. Old MME will now start a timer and wait for the cancellation of the subscriber record. 
So in this way tracking area update procedure is done. So this is about tracking area optimization part 1. We will continue with more in our next class. Thank you.